Casanova Calrissian writes, if any version of Robin is in B versus S, don't you believe that DC is playing with fire? Well, I mean, it really depends. Like I've said this before, I'm not gonna go into a whole rant about it. I believe, I'm, I'm almost gonna give up on Batman versus Superman if they bring in the, golly, Batman! If they bring in a 14 or 15 year old Robin, that's stupid. It's great in the comic books. I, I'm a huge fan. Almost nobody knows as, as much about the comic book incarnations of Dick Grayson as I do. I'm a huge Dick Grayson fan, huge Robin fan in the comics, but I don't think having this Batman who's supposed to be the type of character that he is in the live action movies is somebody who would tote around a child into life-threatening <laughs> situations. Now, I have also always said that if you change him completely, like a lot of people say, John, what if, you know, you just forget Robin, just bring in Nightwing, he's a 21-year-old dude, yeah. just whatever. It's like, okay, that can work, that can work. But just understand then, that that's not Robin anymore. That, that's not the core of who Dick Grayson is anymore. Now it's a new character that you're just calling Dick Grayson, you're just calling Nightwing. And if that's what they wanna do, I'm totally fine with it. I am, I'm cool with that. So if they do, if they do bring in a Robin incarnation, it will have to be, have to be heavily, heavily changed up from the source material for it to work on the big screen, in my opinion. So, hey, a 31-year-old Carrie Kelly. Okay, I mean, if, if, if that's the case and that's where they go, I could be okay with it. Just don't have a 12-year-old kid in spandex tights running around <laughs> going, golly, Batman. I mean, just don't do it. Anyway, what do you guys think? Yeah, I don't think they're gonna do that. I, I, there's very little chance of that happening, but more of along the lines of what you're saying where they call a character Robin, but a lot of the things have changed, and if Jenna Malone is that character, maybe it's like what I was talking about, like a sidekick from you know, more of a technical standpoint. Mm, that's true. It's interesting how many iterations there have been of Robin throughout all the comics from what I understand. Yeah. And a lot of my comic book loving friends say that Nightwing, even though not directly Robin, is, is the coolest character that they would love to see in the cinematic universe. Just anyone besides uh, what they did with Chris O'Donnell in <laughs> Batman and Robin. <laughs> <laughs> Holy rusted metal Batman. No. Oh gosh, okay, what's next? Langley M. Neely writes, is there a movie rumor you didn't believe at the time, but upon seeing the film, you were surprised the rumor was true? Um, yeah, yeah, it absolutely it happens. It absolutely happens. The, the problem, of course, comes in where it's one, it's like 10% or one out of 10 or one out of 20 or one out of 30 don't like end up being actually real. And then people use that as an example, arguing any rumor that comes out. Mm -hmm. Well, John, you didn't believe that rumor. That one was true. Yeah, that was like one out of 100. You know, that's what frustrates me. I can't think of any off the top of my head. Yeah. But I know, but, I, but, I, but my head is something, I know that there have been situations where I thought something wasn't true and that it does end up being true. And that's why whenever I say, look, this I don't believe this, blah, 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 but let's not discount the possibility. Mm. Because even if it's only 10%, there's still a possibility. So that's why you have to keep your mind open about these things. Anyway, what about you guys? Can you think of stuff that you've heard that you never would have believed in a thousand years, but then it ended up being real? I can't think of anything out of the top of my head, but similar to what you're talking about, I got a comment recently about, about uh, Marvel Civil War, like, why is this big news? We've been, we've, the fans have been predicting this for years. I'm like, okay, fans have been predicting a million, a million things, things. Yeah. and this one happened to possibly come true. So it's like, that's not really an argument to be had. You can't be like, oh, well, yeah, we've been saying this. Well, you've been saying this movie, this movie, this movie, this movie, and this movie. Yeah. Never, didn't happen. Yeah. Well, I think the, the Ben Affleck news came completely out of the blue, didn't it? But yeah. if there were oh, yeah. rumors about him, I wouldn't have believed it <laughs> until he was cast. And then also there's things like not believing that a character can actually be good. Like Quicksilver, I was so against him in X-Men Days of Future Past till I saw him. I remember looking at pictures of his outfit and going, ah, oh, he just looks ridiculous. Yes. And then I saw that scene and I was blown away. So, yeah. He's a 1970s Daft Punk reject. <laughs> yeah. that's, that's what he looked like. I mean, okay, time for one more. Right. Sia Patel writes, why is Jennifer Lawrence so popular in your opinion? Because she's, she's real. ridiculously talented. Yeah. I could look, I could care. First of all, I find her incredibly charming and incredibly real. She does really have that girl next door type of feel. I remember she came and did an interview with us and she came into our hotel room and she came in she, and the first thing she said, we, we, I, no, you weren't there yeah. that day. She walked in the door of my hotel room and I'm there and I've got my crew. And the first thing she does, she looks at me, she goes, she walks over kind of hobbling a bit. She takes me and says, look, would you mind if I just took my shoes off? I know that's kind of gross, but, but these things are killing me. And I'm like, <laughs> absolutely. So she took her shoes off. She just did her whole interview with us, like without her shoes on. And she was just so real and normal. But none of that matters if you can't act. And I remember when she burst on the scene with Winter's Bone, we mm. all stood back yeah. and went, 
holy crap. We got to watch out for this one because she was a young girl at the time and she took this heavy, heavy movie, put it all on her shoulders. Great performance by Jonathan Hawk as well. But she took that movie, put it on her shoulders and carried that film. And like you see very, very few actors have the capability of doing. She's for real. Mm. Do I get sick of the overhype of Jennifer Lawrence? Sure, as much as anybody else I do. But don't be, don't confuse that for her being overrated. Don't confuse that for her not being the real deal. She's the real deal. Is she the next coming of Meryl Streep? L let's give her some time to figure that out. I think that's going overboard right now. But for now, she's as heavyweight as heavyweight gets in the business. I mean, she's real good. Anyway, what do you guys think? I, I like her a lot. Yeah, it's, it's, it comes down to talent. I mean, you know, she's beautiful, talented, and she seems like a very likable person. Why wouldn't people love her? I guess I, I'm just sick of this whole, like, I see this person too much and therefore I must hate them. Mm. You know, like that yeah. happened to Anne Hathaway and now it's starting to happen with Jennifer Lawrence. We do it with music too, right? Great song, but yeah. I've heard it a million times yeah. now. I'm sick of that song. Yeah, That absolutely. song sucks now. Yeah. But you loved it like two, three months ago, didn't you? No, it sucks. No. <laughs> yeah, and the overexposure when half of the time it's not even her. It's yeah. just articles about her that go out and about. But I agree, she is just an incredible actress. Watching her, I don't understand how someone that young can really understand these these characters that she plays, who are often really complex and complicated and, and older than she is. Uh, she's just brilliant. And I remember interviewing her for Silver Linings Playbook, the first time I met her, and, and I was trying to be all smart, saying like, <laughs> oh, so when you're in the character, you just get lost in the character. And she was like, no, I'm just thinking about what's for lunch. <laughs> <laughs> just, to, just to hit my mark so that we can get out of here. And I was like, I love you, you're great. And she is a genius. So like you remember, she was part of that whole leaked nude images thing that went out there, right? And everybody was saying, oh, now this is gonna be a scandal and whatever. And then she put out a statement just a couple of weeks ago that I remember thinking, this girl is not just like great, she's smart. Mm. She put out the statement that said, I was sitting down to write an apology letter, and then I realized I got nothing to apologize for. Boom, period, done. Totally it's like, good for you. Good yeah. for you. Hey everyone, if you like this video, click that thumbs up button and make sure to subscribe to our AMC Movie News YouTube channel. It's free and helps you stay up to date with all the latest movie news, as well as our daily AMC Movie Talk Show. Also, make sure that you follow us on Facebook and Twitter to stay up to date with all of our special promotions, contests, and prize giveaways.